You know, folks, a lot of what we do out on the boat is, well, it's habit or some would even call it instinctive. The truth of the matter is it's important to do one thing when you're in the boat, and that's sharpen your hooks. The reason for that is because today's hooks, let's use, for instance, the example of the seven-aught mustad that we have in our hand right here. This is the hook that's going to be suited to your big baits today, big jerk baits. Let's say you got something like the Majorca from A-Team. You got something like the Attack Dog from A-Team. Both of these lures are suited with seven-aughts right out of the package. So needing to sharpen them and knowing how to sharpen them are critical to your success. If we were throwing the small Snoop Dogg, well, smaller Snoop Dogg that's using five-aught hooks, we wouldn't be quite so readily interested in sharpening the hooks. But when we get to the big seven-aughts, the big mustads, world changes right then and there. These hooks come out of the package. They are dull. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You could literally pound this on your thumb all day long and probably never penetrate your thumb. What does that mean? That means you're not going to penetrate the bone. You're not going to penetrate the flesh. You're not going to get that bite that you need on that hook to hang on to that monster fish. Another reason we don't use 5 aughts on these lures, if you look at the size of the body on them, the size of the body exceeds the width of a 5 aught. If you look at the way the 7 aught hangs on there, you've got points on both sides of the body. So if that fish's mouth makes contact and slides down, it's going to hit point on the hook. That's one of the reasons we use these big hooks, in addition to the overall bite radius of the hook and the ability to hang on to big fish. But let's get back to sharpening hooks. The old days of using our, our chainsaw files, which are the dual rounded chainsaw file that's built into a handle, probably long gone for something like the big mustad hook. Reason? You just can't get a good enough point on them without taking a lot of material off the hook. So let me show you what we do over at A-Team Tackle and Simply Fishing to make it all work. We use this little, little tool right here. It's called a Dremel. Now, one thing I want to point out with the Dremel before we go any further. If you'll take a look at the head that we have on the Dremel, the stone we have on it, you'll see it's flat on the side, 90 top, flat on the other side. You don't want a cone on this. Stay with the flat one, and I'll explain why in a second. When you go to radius the hook, you want an even balance flow going around the top of the hook, and I'll show you. So, here we go. Let's take a 7 out hook out of the package with varnish on it, just like it's shipped to the dealer, and we'll show you how to put a needle point hook on it. Make it the sharpest 7 out in the world. We fired up our Dremel, and all we're going to do now is we're just going to radius the point. It's that simple. Right now, I guarantee you that that will pierce leather. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. You don't want to get over excited about doing it. Just barely lay the tool on there and just radius the hook. Once you've done that, again, needle sharp. I'm talking needle sharp. Sharpest seven knot in the world right there. Dremel tool, straight edge on your, on your stone. Radius the hook just like so. Don't get over excited about it. Just basically lightly take it around there. And again, this hook is ready to hunt. If we were to take this hook out of the package, throw it out, and that fish of a lifetime eat, eats it, chances are pretty good you'll miss it. You do this, you're sticking that fish. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Hey, folks, if you want to see more tips and hints from Simply Fishing, get a hold of me on Facebook. I'll be more than happy to produce whatever kind of tip or hint you have. Fact is, that's what this median's all about. It's about teaching one another, using the tools of our trade, and making everybody better anglers. Remember, practice CPR, catch, photo, and release. The future of fishing depends on it. And stop over to 18tackle.com and take a look at the 70,000 variables of lures that we have over at 18. We'll see you guys on the water. I'm going to sharpen the rest of these hooks and go catch some fish. Man, it gets pretty excited.